Tadam! Today we are talking about the Aurea Apex Bottom. So the Aurea V4 is a new dripper. It's a flat bottom dripper that has four dipper that has four different bottom attachments. So you have the apex, you have the open, you have the fast, and you have the classic. So for today's episode, we're gonna talk about the apex bottom and what makes it different from any other dripper available in the market right now. The apex bottom, it is designed to receive a conical paper filter. When we say Aurea, the term or the brand Aurea is always um, affiliated with flat bottom drippers because that is their specialty. That is what they're known for. I have a V3 right here. This is a version 3 Aurea and it has a fixed bottom. There. So it has a fixed bottom. And this is the classic um, bottom of the Aurea. The new Aurea. The version 4 Aurea has four different detachable bottom attachments. To remove it, you simply screw on and screw off like so. And then the base is actually metal this time. Take out your bottom attachment, get another one to replace it, and then screw it on. It's that easy. For the price of the Aurea V4, I really think it's uh, reasonable. Because technically, you are getting four different drippers at, for the price of one. So going back, the Apex Bottom is designed to receive a conical paper filter. The Apex Bottom attachment is actually the thing that makes the Aurea V4 very exciting. So this is the way I fold my conical paper filter. I hold on to the seam end. Right, so this is the part where the seam is and I fold it. Now, when I have a partial fold right here, okay, when I have a partial fold there, I look for the middle of this um, remaining paper. So, okay, there. I look for the middle of that remaining paper. Right? Like there. Okay, so now it looks like um it looks like two equal parts, right? Then make your fold. Right. Once you have your fold, you simply open it. <laughs> yeah, you simply open it like when you brew a normal V60 and then put it inside your Aurea and it should be perfect. Like that. All right, make sure that, make sure that the end of the conical filter is in the middle, right? It would sometimes um, be lopsided. It would lean onto one side, right? But yeah, that's how you fold it. Now, you simply put water, you hold on to the thick part, right? Then you start at the bottom and then work your way up. Okay. The reason why you want to start at the bottom is to put weight so that the weight of the water onto the end of the cone will pull, will pull the paper filter down and it latches. Right? Because it has a Triangular shape. Right. Now, you have a perfectly situated 
paper filter inside. Okay, now what this does is, you have the paper clinging onto the top of the walls of the Aurea, but your paper is not touching any other part of the dripper. So it is um, technically floating. With that, you minimize the amount of bypass because it's not touching anything. It's like how the Soiren um, minimizes bypass because of the absence of the walls. It works the same with the um, Aurea. Another thing to keep in mind is that the Aurea with the apex bottom is a fast drawdown dripper. Why? Of course, you have a 73 degree angle. It's, it is the same concept as the Deep 27 of the Kafek. Just because the angle is too steep that the water is trying to get out as fast as it can. As it can. Yeah, we're not gonna brew today. I just wanted to teach you how to properly fold your paper filter with the Aurea. Because I've seen... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna show you. I've seen other um, users of the Aurea V4 do this. Right, so they fold like a normal... Like a normal V60. There. Then open it. Put it inside. Like that. With a really wide opening. Pour water. Did you see what happened? It fell down. Now, the point, the angle that the um, Aurea is catching the paper because it will definitely catch your paper So the 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 angle that the Aurea will catch your paper Is kind of weird Okay, I'm gonna show you so you get that um, Weird fold under Right and then on top, yes, it has a really nice, um, really nice um, latch onto the walls. But you have this weird shape because this is where it forced, that this is the point where the water forced the paper to fold on its own. And you have this weird, um, cone under so if we take it out yeah, I will try to take it out while maintaining the fold that it created right if you take it out it will actually look like this and this is the fold that it will naturally create of course, you can, you can always do that. You can do this type of fold, this angle. Yeah, but me, being the, being the OC me, yeah, I want it very neat, very clean looking, very efficient. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want that weird fold like that. Right, I'm gonna try to put it in. Yes, it is going to catch, but you have a weird um, end. Yeah, I guess that can work, but yeah, knowing me, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, but so so we have we have two ways to fold your um, your apex paper filter, but yeah, it depends on you what what you want to what you actually want to do. Let me know in the comments below, whichever you prefer. You want the parallel fold or do you want the, like the finding the third of the paper, like this one. So this is finding the third of the paper. And then this one, I wanna call it the parallel fold. 
because you you fold the seams parallel to the other end so this is going I'm gonna call it parallel fold all right so this is the third thirds fold and this is the parallel fold so yeah if you put them on top of each other look at the white this is um, exposing the brown paper under and on the other side the top part here is exposing the white filter and there can you see yeah so whichever you may pick um, yeah it could work but it really depends on you all right um, for now Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye! Okay, um, in the next videos, we're gonna, I'm gonna showcase all of the different bottom attachments, but I will do it one by one. So that video that we just finished right now is the video for the Apex. So next, I might be doing the open, the open bottom attachment and then Next is the fast and I will do the classic last, right?